Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, rectangle OABC fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, the center of this uh, quarter circle is O and moreover this uh, horizontal segment uh, is 14 units whereas uh, this uh, vertical segment is uh, 7 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the pink uh, shaded region, this uh, area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to calculate uh, the radius uh, of uh, this uh, quarter circle. Let me label uh, this uh, radius of the quarter circle as uh, lowercase uh, r. Then this uh, side uh, is going to be lowercase r radius uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, thing is our radius r. And we know this uh, segment is uh, 7 units. So therefore this uh, OA length uh, is going to be r minus uh, 7. And likewise, uh, this segment is uh, 14 units. So therefore, this uh, remaining uh, segment OC is going to be R minus uh, 14. And now let's make an observation. We are dealing with this uh, rectangle OABC. That means uh, this uh, length uh, OA is going to be equal to this uh, side BC. So therefore, if this uh, length is uh, r minus 7, then this uh, bc length is going to be r minus 7 as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect this center O with this uh, point B, as you can see in this uh, next uh, step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r as well. And moreover, since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, so therefore this angle uh, OCB is going to be a 90 degree angle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OCB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, this uh, hypotenuse, I'm going to label it uh, as lowercase c. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is r minus 7 becomes whole square plus b is r minus 14 whole square equal to r square. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. And we are going to apply it on these both binomials on the left hand side. So therefore we can write this thing as r square minus 14r plus 49 plus likewise r square minus 28r plus 196 equals to r square. And now we can see that this uh, r square cancels out with this uh, r square. And now we are going to combine uh, these uh, like terms as well. So therefore our equation is going to look like uh, r square minus uh, 42 times uh, r plus uh, 245 equals to 0. And now we can see that we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping uh, and factoring. You may use the quadratic formula as well to solve this quadratic equation. And now let's focus on this uh, constant 245. This could be broken down to 7 uh, times uh, 35. And if we add uh, 7 and 35, that is going to give us uh, 42, which is same as this uh, middle number. So therefore, let's go ahead and tweak this uh, middle term. Negative 42R could be written as uh, negative 7R minus 35R. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, negative 42R by 
this one. And now we can see between first two terms r is in common and between last two terms negative 35 is in common. So therefore I can factor out r so this become r minus 7 likewise I'm going to factor out negative 35 and we got r minus 7 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and put it together r minus 7 and r minus 7 they are in common. So therefore we can write uh, r minus 7 times r minus 35 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and separate uh, these uh, factors. So I can write r minus 7 equal to 0. The other one is going to be r minus 35 equal to 0. For this uh, first one we are going to get r equal to 7 value and for the second one r is going to be positive 35 and now let's make an observation we can see r equal to 7 value is not uh, feasible if we replace this r by 7 after substitution this is going to become 7 minus 14 that is going to give us a negative 7 and we know the length uh, of this side cannot be a negative uh, number so therefore we are going to reject this r equal to 7 value and we are going to accept r equals to 35 value. So therefore our radius r value turns out to be 35 units. So let's go ahead and substitute r value over here by 35. 35 minus 7 is going to give us 28. So therefore our this OA length turns out to be 28 units. And now let's focus on this uh, r. We are going to substitute 35 value over it. 35 minus 14 is going to give us uh, 21. So therefore uh, this uh, OC length uh, turns out to be 21 units. And here's our next step. We are now going to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle ABCO. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. In our case our length is uh, 28 and the width uh, is uh, 21. So therefore the area of this rectangle is going to be 28 uh, times uh, 21. So therefore if we multiply we are going to get uh, 588. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius. So therefore the quarter circle area is going to be I'm going to write down uh, pi r square and I'm going to divide it by 4. So therefore the quarter circle area is going to be pi divided by 4 times our radius is uh, 35. So this is going to become 35 whole square. And now we know 35 square is uh, 1225. So therefore I can write uh, 12 uh, 25 times uh, pi divided by 4 and if we put it in a decimal notation this is going to be equal to 306.25 uh, uh, times uh, pi square units and here's our final step and let's focus uh, on this uh, equation and we can see that uh, this uh, pink shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the quarter circle minus uh, the area of the rectangle uh, ABCO. And here we already figured out uh, our quarter circle area as uh, 306.25 times pi square units. So we are going to substitute over here. And likewise uh, our rectangle ABCO area is 588. We are going to substitute over here as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this equation. We got uh, 306.25 uh, times uh, pi minus uh, 588 uh, square units. So thus our pink shaded area turns out to be 306.25 times pi minus 588 uh, square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 374.1 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.